Okay, cool. Twitch just gave me the notification that we're on, so I'm going to assume we're on now. Hey, uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, it me, Nathan, again. We're going to do more Phoenix Wright. I was told actually that this blanket... Yes, you can no longer see it. I have retained my professionality. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was a that was a mean shout out. Shouldn't have, shouldn't be so. But, excuse me, passive aggressive. But yeah, um, so we're gonna do more. Uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, baby. Nobody currently watching. Just making sure. Only one way to find out if I don't is checking, right? Um, quick. Just. All right. We're back with more. I know it's been a week. <laughs> been busy. All right. Here we are. Well, hello. I forget every voice I did. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you got enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. <laughs> Please, you're scaring the security guard. It's a good line. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> More like a stack. <laughs> Let's see, how's he doing? Monitoring, he hasn't moved to Nantry real pro, or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women. Ah, that's a new line. Uh, camera. Smile through the camera. Cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> About the man that stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding, come sucking lawyer. But bottom can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Fuck lawyers.
Just making sure. <laughs> Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there's any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look, though. Yeah, I think this is all the same text from before. Hotel. Oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I do say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? <laughs> He's getting too snake. Yes. Our reputation will swell as the hotel where a murderer used a wiretap. We could charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you are our honored guest. Please, let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Cool. Oh. <laughs> so funny. Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor, I call it. The last drink before murder. We'll be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. Nice weather again today. I can see the Fain Co. Law offices, of course. Oh yes, we plan to install a telescope from that window, of course. Just five dollars will leave me three minutes of a view to a kill. J just kidding, sir. Oh, oh, oh. By that look in his eyes, I said he's more than serious. Oh. Let's see, anything else? Bed. Simple bed. It's been recently made. About Miss May. Oh, her. Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. <laughs> I wanted to ask you the man, the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. Literally. <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. Sorry, let me just... I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. We are in a hotel agreement. A total agreement. <laughs> Fuck. There we're in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> I've lost the Phoenix's voice now. No, I'm an anime boy. There we go. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him, sir. A photo? Hmm. Let's see if I can't 
get the mic so that I can sit in a more comfy position. Not super profesh, I know, but it's a stream, not a fucking full video, you know what I'm saying? Could you tell me about this hotel? A absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Get it? It's like Watergate? I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. I know this is probably boring to watch, but just the way to do this is, like, show everybody everything, just in case, like, you can still sometimes get, like, funny stuff. Like, I thought he would have something to say about that. Grossberg's out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Hey, look, the picture's gone. Wait a second, was there a giant painting? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... I guess sunflowers. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting. Or anything. Well, it was like a guy. Oh, I guess it could have been a farmer. We already saw that. Oh, someone's watching live. What's up, actual person in chat? You got something saved for me? Oh, yeah. We, we found a photo. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident. Exhibit A. DL6 incident. DL6 incident. Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Sure, I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I've borrowed this photo. I'm sure no one will miss this. This little photo it might be a valuable clue. I take it for now. Photo lies on the desk. I guess it switched with the one I took. This one's the more important one. remember you having to um swap them out take a look at this photo that's him detective um uh, i'm the lawyer <laughs> oh i know that i just wanted to say detective once you know how it is no no i don't <laughs> without a doubt that is the man who checked in with miss april may how about I write an affidavit? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited. Yeah, I'm gonna have him write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Not even Miss May could play dumb to this. Sick. Cool. Oh, fuck, I took the wrong one. <laughs> that one. You again? Can you take it, say God? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. No, you won't. That's too expensive. 
have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm telling you. Where did you? Aha, uh -huh, reaction. This is him, isn't it? What, who, when, why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have any proof it was him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Do you have a look at this? What's that? The bell... The bellboy's affidavit he tells him everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with, who was most definitely this guy. Now get to uh, Ob's push her hard. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed it's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Uh, I guess that would be like, what? Even though you should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have had a field day with his reputation. Oh, final talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you... Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Now tell me about the man you were with. That... That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call him detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man who was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. <gasps> it's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Cove is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. Second bell was affidavit. He gone. Uh, let's see. familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You again! I'm a big fat guy. That's my voice for him. Or maybe more fat. <laughs> well, well! You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial! The trial! He was there? Um, reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe. Bring back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. Huh? I, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well, I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me as sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Oh, right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. 
does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that'll inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Why, I never... I'm not pretentious. Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Oh, yes, well... I got rid of it. I got really tired of the thing, really. I, uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how much any of your business. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't see how much any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't try. I... How about this? Present. I'm gonna present everything out of it. Break apart, but I'm not ready to speak on the matter. Losing my shirt. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna make him say anything twice. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once! I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know. Who is this man? He was most likely in April May's room at the time of the murder. <gasps> what did you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him so flustered, I wonder? I, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. He's fallen silent as a stone. A rather large stone. Guess I should return that photo. Put a band right here. Cool. The less evidence, the easier. Now let's head to Blue Corp and meet this character! at the cereal decor. Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably. Mr. Wright is Right, I see. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. <laughs> my business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you'd come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have you with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. I love this character. I like doing his voice too, it's very fun. In the Japanese version, um, instead of him using weird words, it's that he's in America. <laughs> Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm. I love this weird sex desk. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My mind. This is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does its sleek roundature not inspire you? This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. 
for all these trophies. I love the Riddler trophy in there. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges, special runner-up, best participation. Judges, cooperation award, special good try prize. Hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. Statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. I love that the blue corp logo is red. It's modeled for the man as, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate. Correct? I think it's just a little bit too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. this wiretap. Oh, the one Miss May used, right? Bad girl, bad, bad girl. She she testified that she placed the wiretap at your request. How pathetic. I guess she's trying to pass the buck. Bad, bad girl. Sorry, I can't help you. I know nothing. I'm gonna need hard evidence to get anything out of this guy. Okay, so let me talk to him first and then do some evidence. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. I'm an American. Miss May into the scapegoat. Sorry, I skipped it before I get to it. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Like the Bob Marley song. Still, Mr. Wine, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing such a thing. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business into the grand office you see now. You see, on December 25th, 2005, I was walking down the street, I was a homeless man, and suddenly, the top of the building exploded, and money fell out, and I ran around collecting all the money as it fell, and I spent that money to open my first business. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, its founder and CEO, named it so. Why do you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Well? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh-huh, a lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Uh, uh, oof. Uh, uh. He, he, 
punched me. Well, Mr. Floyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, scare Daddle. There's nothing more to discuss. I'm just gonna show him more things. Dodie's gonna... You murdered her with this, can you? No? Okay. I have nothing more to say. Alright, well, dickhead. I'm gonna go see Grody Burger. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Jump in Jehoshaphat! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so... Oh, what's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Huh? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Okay, this is all... I've seen this. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something's been bothering me. Oh, what is it? What is it, my boy? You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you don't see. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. You're lovers, that's funny. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. Ooh. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest, so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? Sorry, my face is itchy. PP boy paying 15 years. Just like a mere drop. Sad days. <laughs> All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you may have suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. Gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. Why? 
you wouldn't want to know the amount that he has on Joe Biden alone. What? Joe Biden, I thought he was a he had a perfect record. <laughs> I'm being facetious. They are bound, unable to do harm to their souls, and therefore him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DLC? Is the DLC DL6 incident. <laughs> DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye! Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. The bequest? I, I mean, that's like, is it not behest or request? It just fits that the voice that I've been giving him. The bequest! And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want the public to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I, I told them. You told why? He offered me witches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controlled the law of this country as he pleased fit. Yet, he would still challenge him. Have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's, Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Funny looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder happened here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Faith, it's me and my mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Obviously read it, always read it. I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the name of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Ghostberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's info for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Huh, the record stops there. To me and Uma Grossberg. Make your rest. Not too much. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skip. Well, no harm will be through. Suicide. Collection of suicide reports. Politician. Policeman. There's writing in most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these quote-unquote suicides. White drove them all too. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one.
Wait, hold on. How old did it say Red White was? 39. Eh, it's pretty good for CEO. Um. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could preserve this in court. Not a bad idea. I already asked him that, but it got grayed out, so. Should I go back to the dissension center? Apparently, Miss May isn't questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her. <laughs> La dee da, money making, money making, I got the money making blues. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled to the fucking brim with articles like this. Every one of them labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I don't know what you did to I know <laughs> what you did to this motherfucking politician. You were blackmailing him, you son of a pizza shit. Blackmail! Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, huh? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send him on right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinu- Just what are you insinuating? He was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, me was murdered. 
and all the documents about you mysteriously disappear. So the culprit would would be. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Hey, is that you? Why are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia K Faye case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why not? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. This man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. Huh? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? This is wrong. This is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you're in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends of the local lawyers association, don't you see? You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, uh, butts. Harry butts. Right, actually. Phoenix, right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's well, gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. That's worth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Oh, great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid that we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explain what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to be destroyed before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Uh, um, yeah, like that. All right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform with some pom-poms. Wait! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. <laughs> no, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But 
But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. I don't have very many girl voices. I'm sorry. Oh, my voice. It's bad. <coughs> Times may change. Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in the day. Most of the guilty verdict. I never thought I'd end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued. So, I'm going to save my progress. Guys. Excuse me. But, uh. Let me just, um. Take, like, just a couple minutes. Um, I'm going to fill up my water bottle. Uh, I'll be. If you're watching the VOD, it's just going to. I'm going to try to cut it to be as quick as possible. Uh, but, um. Uh. Yeah, just going to be like two minutes. I'm not even going to change anything on here. Just, uh, just a couple of minutes, all right? We back, baby. <clears throat> All right. Who's ready to finish case two tonight? Hell yeah. I was thinking like, oh man, yeah, try, try to do like one case per sitting most times. Like I know like last time, it's two separate uh, vids because I took a break partway through, but like um, last time it was like both in one day on the actual, and then in, um, <clears throat> and then in like um, the, the second one, was released the next day but like uh, uh it was all one day like with a 30 minute break last time um and we did like all of case one and half of case two and i was like oh sick yeah like should be able to get one done per thing but i forgot like from case two on they're long like k for what i did of case two was like hour and a half and we're almost an hour done through case two or k uh, like the second half so yeah, unless I want to do like three hour sittings of this and like fucking wreck my voice, probably be like half a case per sitting, try to get it done. There's five cases in this one and then probably take a break before hitting on the second one. I think, I think uh, the next game I want to stream is either like FF7 or FF9. Um, I think seven might be easier because I could get the uh, Rimako mod, like oh, OG, not remake. <clears throat> 
Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or, or another, this case gets to. Oh, one way or another, this case gets decided today. Uh, Phoenix, look. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the. Hold on. Let me try to find Edgeworth's voice. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Huh? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it'll be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have the judge in his pocket to? So you're saying I'm gonna be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. No way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Court will be starting soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay. Let's do this. Quarters now in the. <laughs> what did I make this for? Order, order. No. I'm trying to remember. What is now in the oh, Fuck, why did I make his voice? Yes. It's kind of similar to... Yes. Well, court is now in session. Yeah, there we go. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution... He's ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are quite clear to the court. Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask the truth why his witness didn't testify it before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm. Well, let's raise an objection about it. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Ms. Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Uh, I'm losing his voice and my mind. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides... At the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. <laughs> Great, he gets to show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand.
Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corps. Did you know the victim is Maya Fey? Or Mia Fey, rather? That would be a negatory. Uh, no, I did not. Oh. You were at the Gatewater Hotel in the night. Fuck, that's not his voice. I'm tight. You were at the Gatewater. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Too British? I don't know. I'm losing. I can't. Miles Edgeworth voice? Hard to get, which sucks because he's such an important character. Correct! <clears throat> and you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem, why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and the last man standing? Ho ho ho. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Huh? Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying. No, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. Then I saw him, a spiky hired man, attacking a woman with long hair. My headphones just died. I mean, what's that? Needless to say, that man was you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Ms. May over at once. She, too, is flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well defended. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Let me just uh, give her the old save. Uh, let's see what do we have on this. attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck it down. Are you sure? As you know, I'm so I'm always absolutely perfect. 
Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, 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 oh. it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. The victim ran to the left, as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <gasps> Very strange. I did see her run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. Don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. <laughs> ha! I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts, ya dickhead. What? Hold on. That does not explain. What? I'm changing his voice to down here. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? I say... In the law offices of Fay and Co, of course. <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court. Take that! Take that! This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear to show she ran to the left. Case closed, motherfucker. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. This is where the killer was standing. Please, I'm my Wedgworth. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom would be headed, headed in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! The postulations of the defense postulations of the defense are just I need to have one headphone off otherwise otherwise my fucking voices get mixed the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth your honor no but wait that's a mix just, oh, I'm a snarl the postulations of the the postulations of the defense. No, he's too California. Fuck. My brain. Indeed. They do seem a bit fair far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Royer. And now, he's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I'm unclear, and for this I apologize. Y Your Honor, might I be able to allow to testify once more? Fine. Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. 
We save it, bitches. Miss May's testimony was correct. Correct. As was mine. You assaulted the girl she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Uh, next, with the last of her strength, she ran to her right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember who's the lawyer? Hmm, that does mean to make sense. Will you be cross-examining? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. This dumb bitch liar won't be fucking get any get away with this bullshit. I can tell he's a fucking piece of shit. Let me see. Well, the fucking uh. Objection! Objection! Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. <gasps> what do you have to say to that? Uh. uh. That was my chance to know where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the court that you were abso positively perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Bruh. Your Honor, you could ask the witness for one new testimony. Objection! The witness is obviously conf- I'm talking with the- I'm talking with the British accent. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying! I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Man, this fucking court is crazy. It's where every time there's some crazy shit happening. Holy fuck. Very well. The witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay, okay. Whew. Uh, well, you see, when I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. And the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Kill her, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Thwap, indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it, it's hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. heard that thing fall what exactly was that thing huh? oh oh that um the glass light stand right the one that had fallen over at the scene phoenix doesn't something about that strike you as odd yeah very odd yeah that is odd i'll press further mr w mr white oh what you're saying that you saw the glass light stand yes and change your testimony to reflect that sorry my bad the witness would revise his testimony. Objection! Objection! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. Uh-huh. Look at this. 
These are the floor plans for the scene of the murder. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here! Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White... What do you have to say to that? Uh... uh Ridiculosity. Ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in that Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over, you piece of fucking shit. In fact, you wouldn't be able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards of the glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. That's right, bitch. In other words, you are at the scene of the crime where the murder takes place. Girl. No way, dude. Mr. White. Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, I miss Mia. Yeah, it looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright? That's far enough. Phoenix Wright? What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. Mr. Y. I think that the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? Wh what? I said you should confess your crime. Your crime. Ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? I'm just doing Edgeworth very close to my normal voice. Just like very much put together, uptight version of my normal voice. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to your court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Mr. Ms. Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct! You're most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed life stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in his office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place, when he went to place the wiretap. 
He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. Wright, you have testified to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I've got this. He's gotten more and more Californian as it's gone. I feel faint. It was the week at the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered Fein Co law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. This is how you were able to identify what followed up by the sound. Correct. This is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Good cross examine. Yeah. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. You'll need it, you little pussy bitch. I'm gonna. I think. I forget, but I want to say that this receipt is for the light stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish. Made a lasting impression on me. This reputatious thing deserves attention, does not? That is all. You know, there's nothing for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Do you have proof? Miss April May. Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Ah, uh, right. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Co. law offices. These were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know that birth, you probably already run check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fan Co. Law Offices. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Tusk, tusk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought... Honorably. <laughs> no more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Mia! Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, uh, you're finally awake. Gah! Hey! Phoenix! 
Gak, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Titty. Sorry, I had to say it. <gasps> You're... Maya. Didn't you know the Fey women had strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears as though I was, that was enough of shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mina? Mia? That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt, the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what should I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase. September 4. September 4? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. You just have to prove it. Right. God will now reconvene by the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should have offended rather, are you right, Mr. Wright? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we let off. Your Honor. Your Honor. There's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright, Mr. White, is finished. All that's required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Phoenix Wright his last chance. What's the worst that could happen to me or my career? Right, you may begin your cross examination. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> oh, ha. You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the agree the look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Well, a glass light stand, and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. <gasps> you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Thane Count Law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there.
Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, <laughs> I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Yeah. Very well. Then that is off the trial of... Objection! Objection! Hmm. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? No way can he worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. <laughs> you see, there's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry. Does this matter? Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't gonna be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with, or just make up something. After Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah. The witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Your Honor, if I may. You're quite, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I'd like to read to the court. Take that! Take that. I guess I could say it. The memo Mia had given me was in list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's what happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I confess. I confess. I I did it. I killed her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. There's quite a spirit of defense. Yes, Your Honor. Guess you could say that. He knew how spirited it was! <laughs> hmm, well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Not guilty? Oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Fuck! Where did this guy your freaking brain? I don't even need fucking TV anymore, guys. That is all. Fuck. That is all. This court is adjourned. You can hear my voice, Sally, dying. I'm like, ah, just let me... He's done. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again.
but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You've risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. Can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but someday we'll meet again some sunny day. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, not a quarter. The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! Oh! Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? <laughs> bah! Bah! You should have seen your face! Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! Maya? <laughs> Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Huh, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of- take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of- Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright and Poe Law Offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for Dee Dee. Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. <laughs> Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't want me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said is what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it weren't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in cola offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. <gasps> Ghost. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. The end. Brand new episode's been added. Save your progress up to this point? Yes. Alright. Uh, that is. Truly. Hold on. Shit. Nope. You do not get to see any more of this. It is spoilers. So, now you get to see just me. Haha. -ha. The game. No longer there. <laughs> um... But yeah, that was a fun one. Uh, let's see. Did I get any new views? Two, apparently. It looks like maybe somebody came around uh, partway through that. That's cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
uh, I don't think anybody who's watching me has doesn't know my other stuff, but just in case you don't, um, you know, hey, this is the Media Hall channel if you're watching the YouTube version. Uh, we have a YouTube channel if you're watching it on Twitch, it's like a VOD. Uh, <laughs> uh, Media Hall channel, youtube.com slash N8S comedy is how you get there. Uh, I've got like video essay type videos, I've got like comedy type videos, and I've got an entire podcast that you can get on my YouTube channel. Also, it's on like Spotify and iTunes and every sort of uh, place you could get a podcast at. Um, I know you may be like, oh, he just, he's mirrored because uh, I think it looks better on the other screen when I'm mirrored the other way. This is the actual way. This is the real footage. Um, but yeah, like check out my other stuff or whatever. Um, if you like me, uh, I swear it's not just me doing voices, making the occasional joke, um, on the podcast. It's obviously like all, all jokes and all talking about things and conversation. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm going to keep doing these streams. I just want to, I'm just forced to kind of do them on my own time, you know? Um, so with, with that, I'm going to call it a, call it an evening. Uh, and thank you very much for sticking with me. Oh my god, my nose is bothering me. My voice hurts. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much.